Hey everyone, welcome to my After Effects tutorial. Today we're going to create a photographer slideshow animation in After Effects. Open After Effects and go to the project panel. Create a new composition. Change comp name to animation. Width 1920. Height 1080. Set duration time to 10 seconds and click OK. Today we're going to work with this folder called Tutorial and I will give you my full project file download link in my description. Make sure to follow my Patreon page and subscribe and like my YouTube channel. Now let's start editing. Right click here to create a new solid layer. Make comp size and change the name to BG. Go to the effect and presets. Search for the gradient ramp. Drag and drop on the solid layer and adjust a few settings. Change the start ramp color to light sky blue. Now I am going to copy this text and the logo and paste it on the animation comp timeline. Now go to the project panel and create a new composition. Change comp name to frame 01. Change the width amount to 500 and height to 600. Click OK. Now go to the tab menu. Select rectangle shape. Change the stroke color to white. Set stroke amount to 55. Double click on the rectangle shape. Rename the layer shape to frame. Now search for the image on the project panel, drag and drop on the timeline, and adjust a few settings. On the project panel, select the frame comp. Hold Ctrl or Command D to duplicate the composition to seven times. Select all compositions. Double click to open on the timeline. Select frame Eero 2. Change the image to something like this and adjust a few settings. Or you can change the image while pressing Alt. Select the image and search for the new image on the project panel. Hold Alt, drag and drop on the timeline image. Now you can adjust the scale value to something like this. You have to do the same process to the other images also. Now select the frame 07 compositions, rename to the main image, Drag and drop the main person image and adjust a few settings. Now close all the frame compositions. On the project panel, select all seven frame compositions. Drag and drop on the animation comp timeline. Press S to open the scale property. Adjust the scale value to 75. Split and arrange the images to something like this. Right click here to create a new camera. Change the preset 50mm camera. Again, right click to create a new null object. Rename the Null object to Position. Select All and click here on this small icon to activate 3D. Select Camera, Parent Camera to Null Object. Press P and now you can animate the position value. To do that, first change one view to two views. Select the second view and change the active camera to custom view 1. Now you can change the Z position to something like this. Now 
Now change the custom view to the top view. Again, you can change the X, Y, Z position value to something like this. Now first select any layer. Search for the drop shadows. Drag and drop on the layer. Set distance amount to 45. Softness to 350. Change the direction to 225. Now copy the drop shadow. Select all seven composition layers. Paste it. Select the position Null Object. Press P to open the position property. Create a keyframe. Move the keyframe at 2 seconds. Now change the Z position value to something like this. Select both keyframes and press F9 to easy ease. Open the graph editor and change the graph value to something like this. Hit the spacebar button to preview. Now finally select and open the camera options. Turn on depth to field. Set focus distance to 2500 pixels and aperture to 150. If you increase or decrease the aperture, you can see the depth of blurriness. Now create a keyframe on the aperture. Go forward at 2 seconds. Change the aperture amount to 100. Select both keyframes and press F9 to easy ease them. And make sure to change the graph value. Hit the spacebar button to preview the entire project. I hope you enjoyed my After Effects tutorial. In future, I will make some Figma and After Effects tutorials. Make sure to like, share, subscribe to my channel. Stay tuned. Thank you.